um, I think the first thing is if you're in a business like ours, our franchisees are our customers. The customers of our franchisees are our guests that come into stores. You have to treat your franchisees as though they're customers. You have to listen to them. It doesn't mean you always agree with them. You have to listen to them, and I think that's very important. That's the first thing. But it, you know, one of the things I've learned from the last couple of years here, and the, in fact at another brand, is, is the partnership with the franchisees. You know, I think too many leaders believe they know everything, and that the font of all knowledge comes out of corporate. We work very closely with our franchisees. We have a very democratic system that ends up with what's called the Brand Advisory Council. We have one for Baskin Robbins, we have one for Duncan. And I think it's listening to the challenges and the points of view that come from our franchisees that's key. If you do that, it's a bit like a team. You know, it's a two-way dialogue. And, and I think together, if you have that kind of relationship, by working together, you can go out there and you can attack whatever economic problems are out there. Um, I think too many people have too close to mind. There's only one way of doing things. Uh, I, I try and approach things by saying you can always improve. And I think if you recognize that it's about steady, gradual improvement, and that ideas come from people who really know the business. I mean, let's face it, franchisees know the business day to day better than I do, because they're out in stores like this, they're dealing with our guests, the guests tell them things, they're getting feedback. So I think if you have an open-minded approach, you'll come up with, with the right solution. But I always put it through a sieve. Does it help us make more money? Does it help all franchisees rather than just a few? Because sometimes you get ideas that will benefit a few franchisees. So I think by being balanced and put it through that kind of sieve, you'll come up with the right answer.